Hello and welcome to week four of AC4420 Corporate Tax Accounting. Remember that the contact information is up here with the name, the email address, and the phone number. We also have office hours on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. This is not required. Time carved out if necessary in a question and answer format at that time. If you want to go there, you can uh, first call in here. And then once we are called in, we can go to screen share software as needed and work through questions at that time in that format. Let's take a look at week four, current week we are in. We have the normal type of layout that's very familiar at this point, being the objectives, the topics, then the lessons. We're going to be talking about tax treatment of business ownership, dispositions, liquidations, terminations, and these will be the topics we will have. Remember that your reading will be here in terms of the lessons. I have to, uh, these resources will be your reading so click here for those resources then everything from the discussion forms on downward that's what we need to complete for the week so that will start with the discussion forms we need to have at least four posts at a minimum to get full credit on the discussion forms you want to get full credit on the discussion forms because they're worth 21 percent of the grade and that's a lot of the grade therefore make sure that you're participating make sure that you're picking up that full credit I would post more like um, seven to eight times really just to make sure to pick up that information. I'm obviously going to put in a lot more questions as we go. So there'll be a lot of stuff that we can post to to make sure to pick that up. Please continue to if you use a reference from Google or something like that. Just make sure that you reference the Google. Tell us where it came from so you're not plagiarizing and that will be fine. In order to get full credit on a post like that, we do want to also include either a recap of what has been uh, posted there what we've been what we found and or some critique of it and that would be the way to pick up the most credit on that type of post then we have the assignment and the homework now this assignment is the project so this is the class project this is the main paper so you want to spend some more time on this i'm going to go in here and just take a look at it real quick it's going to be a five page paper a minimum of five page paper in apa format so that means you want to have the body basically being the five pages you want to have a title page five pages for the body and then included to that tacked on to that would be the reference page at least three references for that so you can pick basically any kind of topic that we've picked throughout this course we do want to pick something that's going to be specific it wants to be a research type of paper so we, we do want to pick something that in the introductory paragraph it's going to be some type of argument so we don't want to basically describe kind of the research process we went through we want to explain what the research goal is in terms of what type of action should be taken or what do we what do we think the results of a particular action are give our argument and then and then back that argument up with the specific points within the body of the paper and then give a conclusion on that paper we also in this one do want to make sure that we are referencing to uh, some outside resources in order to back up our opinions and make sure that we have a reference uh, page at the end of this as well so if you have any questions on topics or you know how should we format this you can take a look at that the problem a lot of people have is either picking a topic that's way too big or picking a topic that's way too small so you want to make sure to you know pick the relevant topic for a five page paper and then uh, and and make sure you have some direction on that when you're when you're approaching the topic and and the paper so i'm going to go back to week four here we then have uh, the homework which is going to be a smaller assignment here and then we've got the uh, quiz you want to make sure to take the quiz by Sunday you cannot generally make up the quizzes so if you're running short on time you want to make sure to have an outline for the major project and uh, you know start the homework and, and if you can't get to everything then you want to make sure to get the quiz done because you can generally turn in the homework and the assignments uh, for late work you could lose points on it but uh, you, you can generally have some time to do that as opposed to the quiz which you can't generally turn in late unless there's some unusual circumstance in which case we take that on a case-by-case -case basis all right going to scroll up to the grade book over here on the left hand so as usual grades will be due on sunday i have until tuesday to update all the grades for the prior week so for example the week ended of week three it should be in there by sunday then i'm going to grade up until tuesday and then by tuesday evening or afternoon you want to go in there and make sure that the grades have been updated in accordance as you think they should be through week three for example anything that was done in week three whether it be late work for prior week or the work done in week three should then be updated as of tuesday following week three 
So for example, the discussion form here, the dash should turn into 100% because everybody's shooting for 100% on the discussion forms. Same for the assignment. The quizzes will populate automatically and the homework should then be populated as well. If, for example, we had not done week three here on the assignment, that dash will then turn to a zero. You then want to go back in here and see if there's any zeros within the homework, see if that's what it should be, and if you can then pick up late work on it at that time. Same thing will happen through week four, so you want to get everything uh, in week four by Sunday. Then I'll grade it by the following Tuesday. Anything completed in week four, whether it be prior work, late work, or current work for week four, should then be updated following the close of week four on Sunday, the following Tuesday. You want to go in there and check it out and see that everything has been updated as you know it should be. And uh, that's going to be it for week four, so have a great week four.